about unicorns, rainbows, sprinkles, and stars, what comes to mind? Well, for me, it's rainbow bagels, obviously. They're colorful, happy, and sweet, plus we filled them with a the birthday cake cream cheese to match. They are the Lisa Frank of bagels, which makes them the epitome of 90s cool. When people started Instagramming these rainbow bagels from the bagel store in Brooklyn, New York, our feeds were blowing up with all sorts of shades of blues, purples, pinks, yellows, and oranges. And there was no way I was gonna start FOMOing out, so we had to recipe test ASAP. Now bagels are a totally involved process, but I promise you they are so worth it. So we're gonna start by making a ton of colored dough, and you have to make each dough and each color separately. So for the sake of your mixer, I would start with the lightest color first, and then work your way up to the more intense colors. We'll combine our water, one packet of yeast, and some sugar into a stand-up mixer that's fitted with a dough hook. Stir the mixture and then let it sit for about five minutes until it becomes foamy. Then gradually add two cups of flour, salt, and the gel paste color. You're gonna continue to mix, and then add the rest of your flour until it forms a stiff dough. Turn the dough out onto a lightly floured surface and begin to knead it until it's not sticky anymore. Now once you've done this, place the dough into a bowl that's been lightly greased with vegetable oil and turn it over so the outside is coated. Cover it and let it rest for about 30 minutes in the refrigerator. So I have my five different doughs, pink, green, purple, blue, and yellow, and you can do them whatever colors you want, and then let them come to room temperature for about 30 minutes. Now this is my favorite part about making breads. We're gonna give them a nice swift punch right in the center to get rid of all those bubbles formed by the yeast. And I actually mean it. You just form a fist and go right into the center and give it a punch. <laughs> See, it got rid of all those bubbles. All right, now I'm just gonna practice my boxing. So now that we've punched down our dough, we're gonna roll them into balls. Next, we're gonna start with our lightest color and flatten it into a one inch thick rectangle and then place it down on a lightly floured surface and continue rolling and stacking the rest of the colors directly on top of each other. Now we're gonna let them prove for another 30 minutes so all the layers can come together. Now here's the fun part, we can make those spiraled rainbow shapes. We're gonna slice the dough into strips that are one inch thick and six inches long. Then twist the dough to create a spiral, kind of like this, and then join the ends together just like so. And voila, you've made your first rainbow bagel. Now I'm just gonna keep going until I've used all my dough. Once you're done, cover them with a clean cloth and let them rise a second time until they've almost doubled in size. This should take about 25 minutes. Next, preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then we're gonna bring your large pot of water to a boil. In batches, we're gonna boil each bagel for about 30 seconds to one minute, turning once halfway through. Then place your bagels onto a greased baking sheet. Imagine how it feels when you bite into a bagel. It's this warm, ultra chewy with a little bit of a crust. Well, this step of boiling the dough is what makes a bagel a bagel. Next, we're gonna bake the bagels for five minutes and then turn the bagels over and bake for an additional 12 to 18 minutes or until they've colored slightly but haven't browned. Then remove them from the oven and place them on a wire rack to cool. At the bagel store, they even top their bagels with Funfetti cream cheese, so we're gonna make a batch of that for ours as well. And we're gonna do this by creaming together our cream cheese, powdered sugar, and just a little bit of butter flavoring. Then fold in the rainbow sprinkles and you're good to go. Oh my goodness, this looks so awesome. And then take a look at the inside of this bagel. I cannot wait to take a little bite. Mmm. Oh my gosh. You know, sometimes things that look cool don't necessarily taste good. Well, that is not the case with this. This bagel tastes like it came from the Big Apple. It's chewy, it's soft on the inside, and then that buttery cream cheese frosting. <laughs> wow, if you guys love funfetti and rainbows and sprinkles as much as I do, check out my video where I made funfetti dip, a rainbow ice cream cake, and a giant funfetti cookie cake. They are amazing. And if you see some cool trends online, tag me on Instagram, hashtag eatthetrend. I'm Brandy, and I'll see you next time. Bye.